as we discussed on the site map, you can add other devices to Foreman that might not necessarily be the miners. And that all happens through infrastructure. An example of that could be PDUs. You can also connect up attributes, so maybe power phases. If you happen to be using S19 Hydros as another example, you can also associate their cooling tower that goes with it. Here, you can visualize all of the PDUs added to this account. We'll go through a quick example on how to associate a cooling tower with a container. So I'm gonna add infrastructure. We'll call it cooling tower one. What type? It's an ant space cooling tower. It's gonna be responsible by our one pickaxe install, which was called site A. And that cooling tower has an IP address. We'll hit save. Now that I have the device added, I can associate that to locations in the site map. So I'm gonna to go to actions, manage associations. So this is where we connect the device to locations in the map. This cooling tower, we'll say it's responsible for container D1. And this cooling tower is gonna to provide cooling to the entire container. This cooling tower can be associated with all of D1, or I can associate it to different racks inside of D1, or I can associate it with different cells inside of D1. So this is how infrastructure really connects up to physical locations in the mine. You can associate attributes, or devices to particular cells. You can associate them to racks, or you can even go higher and associate them to the groups of the container. So for this cooling tower, we're gonna to associate it with all of D1. We'll hit save. Now we'll go back to site map. And we're gonna pick infrastructure, and we're gonna visualize that cooling tower. So now I can see all of D1 is managed by that cooling tower. So now all of those miners in this container will have an associated liquid temp.